Hello everyone, this is a repair of an electronic vacuum gauge by Westphalia Surge there for dairy equipment or um, anything with a pump that uses a, a vacuum. This uh, displays the vacuum there. So I'm just removing off the case there. The issue is it doesn't turn on. So this takes a little bit of, I'm gonna pull this off. It's powered by a 9 volt battery, so I just uh, measuring the voltage there and I wasn't really measuring something, so I took off the cap there to measure the battery to make sure it's around 9 volts. You can see we're getting 9.6 volts, so this is a good battery. So that would be the very first thing to check is if your battery is okay. I'm reconnecting the connector and I'm going to see if the cable is okay and just using my multimeter here in voltage mode and DC voltage we'll see if we can measure the 9 volts at the end and I'm getting 9.6 so initially I thought uh, it's, it's okay so I took it apart more but then what I found was it did turn on you can see the screen that the screen turns on but then if I was wiggling the cable a little bit it would turn off so I knew that there was a, a deeper problem here so you can see here the screen's on buttons working everything's fine but then all of a sudden it just turned off what's, what's going on so this is an indication that the circuitry inside is working okay because it had the display it's to do with the, the uh, connection. So what I had to do is I I did used the multimeter to test out the positive wire and also the negative, and I found that it was a loose connection. I was just in ohm reading. I just measured the ohms of the wire there, and it would come in and out. So it's a bad connection on the negative side. So I'm just going to remove the old negative wire and I'll be soldering on a new wire there to fix this issue here. So I just used um, some allocated clips to connect to the negative side of the battery connector and then I put the other side to my multimeter so that I can see what happens with the resistance. You can see I'm measuring about you know 60 ohms and then it goes 100 um, it's not really consistent when I was measuring it so I know that the issue is that connection um, to the battery everything else seems to be fine so it's very interesting that this would happen um, so I'm going to cut off the old wire just using some little snips and we will be fixing this up There's a good contact at the very back, so we'll be able to solder it there. I, I soldered on the new wire, so it has a better connection. And I'll be reinstalling this. I'm just using some electrical tape to tape the new wire on to the little white connector that connects to the printed circuit board inside the circuitry there. Just connecting the battery, and then we'll just pop it in and see if this fixes the issue. Now you can see it already turns on with the display there. It's, it's measuring the pr uh, pressure there, it's 0 0.3. Uh, initializing and if I shake the battery connector, it has a solid connection. So that was the issue. After that, all we have to do is put the machine back together and it should be good to go. If this video was helpful, please hit the, likes, the like button and give a thumbs up.